Writer-director Marcus Harbin brings us Followers, which was originally titled Cassette. And this is a mostly kind of found footage movie uh, for the new generation, for Gen Z, you might say. What is the story? Well, it focuses on uh, four university housemates who are strangers at the beginning of the movie, and they kind of get together in this student house uh, to live together whilst they are studying. However, uh, it turns out that this particular kind of student house may well be haunted, and one of the kind of the housemates being a aspiring uh, social media influencer takes advantage of it, ropes the other three in to help him, and finds kind of fame and fortune on the internet because of this haunting. But it may well come at a price. What will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So let us discuss followers. What do we think works, first of all? I think this movie is certainly one of these films that is embracing, uh, you know, a new kind of technology in regards to kind of how social media can affect people. Because obviously films like this, um, you simply didn't exist, you know, 15, kind of 20 years ago, even probably sooner than that. So it's interesting to see the kind of the direction of you know, where technology is kind of sending kind of storytelling because if we're able to tell stories now that simply, you know, that, that these kind of situations just didn't exist some years ago. So it's certainly a, um, gives it a, a, a kind of a unique feel to some degree. I mean, I know there's been movies like Host and things like that, but obviously this kind of style of, of, of story is only kind of really relevant to the modern ages. And obviously people who are, younger and who are sort of in this kind of age group, I think it really kind of speaks to them. Now, when you're a little bit older, like myself, you know, you, it feels a little bit kind of like, um, you feel a little bit past it to a certain degree. But, uh, you know, it, obviously this is a, this is made for a, a new generation of of horror fans, basically, who kind of, who the kind of where this sort of, this sort of social media influencer type person, you know, personality is kind of a lot of aspirations for for young people a lot of younger people want to be this as a, as a career and stuff so you know i think i do think it kind of speaks to them and i i gotta say it kind of fully embraces it i actually quite like some elements of the story here you know these kind of four housemates just happening to find out that this kind of uh, house is haunted um and what they actually do with it rather than being so scared of it, I think, is, is kind of an interesting twist. It reminds me that there was a TV show called Being Human, which isn't exactly the same, but that kind of, it had a kind of a similar kind of vibe to that. And it's interesting to try to see how people who try and take advantage of a kind of a supernatural occurrence rather than kind of trying to kind of ultimately defeat it, so to speak. So again, it has some kind of interesting kind of story elements to it. I actually think the kind of the ghost is somewhat interesting because it's kind of like a raving ghost. It's quite uh, unique in some kind of ways and how it kind of interacts with technology. You know, it's a low budget movie. So we do see the kind of like the clearly obvious um, video effects, but it kind of leans into it. Uh, so we have this kind of distortion when we kind of see the ghost, which looks like, you know, distortion that you would see in electrical equipment and things like that. So it kind of, it almost leans into its kind of its fakeness as part of a kind of a a kind of a storytelling sort of technique, I have to say. And the movie, despite being a found footage film, still manages to kind of have differences in some of the kind of the shots, you know, the shot compositions, and how it's kind of presenting itself. One of the things I found quite interesting was the fact that this movie, as it goes on, our kind of four characters end up getting more equipment and better equipment so as the film progresses you see like better cameras and things or like more cameras so you get more angles and things like this better editing so you actually kind of go on a, a technical uh, you know ride with our kind of uh, our four kind of uh, protagonists at the same time so as the film progresses the quality of the actual kind of feel of the movie, the kind of the, the, the slickness of it uh, actually improves as the film goes on as they in story buy kind of new equipment which I kind of found uh, was found quite fun. And I have to say I think the the the, the um the intentions of our protagonists are a little bit interesting because we have these four people 
all of whom come at it slightly kind of differently. Um, and it's, it's, it's a little bit atypical. It's not kind of what you've seen before. As they say, mostly in a, in a kind of a haunting story, it's people trying to survive this, but they are deliberately trying to, you know, cause, uh, cause this thing to kind of like, um, come out and kind of be more kind of overt to try and take advantage of it. And then we see, you know, you know, other viewers kind of reactions and stuff like that. So there's some interesting stuff that is done with it. However, uh, let's talk about what I think doesn't work. There are, t for me, two main issues with this movie. Number one, I, I think our protagonists, our four protagonists I have some issues with. Um, the first thing I would say about them specifically is that our main guy, this jaunty character, is quite unlikable. If, I'm, if we're being completely honest. He seems very kind of selfish. He seems a little bit of a, a, a sexual predator to a certain degree. And he's meant to be our kind of our main kind of protagonist. Now, even the way he kind of wears his cap is kind of annoying. It kind of, he look, it reminds me of kind of Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber annoys you, this guy will annoy you. Again, maybe that's possibly my age kind of showing there. Uh, maybe if you are uh, you know, a uh, you know a Gen Z or a millennial, even you may appreciate more because it's clearly aiming at that audience. Um, but for me, I actually kind of found his character a little unlikable. The second thing about the actual characters themselves, the other three, I don't think have really much impact on the actual story. Uh, there's there's this, there's this one girl who's kind of doing a sort of trying to document what's going on. And she maybe has a little bit of impact, but not a lot. And the other two virtually have nothing to actually do in the actual kind of plot itself. So we have this, this, this the story being led by this jaunty character. And the other three, I have to be honest with you, floundering with very kind of little to do. And just by virtue of being there are part of the kind of story, but don't really add anything to it, to be honest, other than kind of other people to kind of interact with. So I found their, their characters, to be honest with you, quite useless. The second kind of major point I would say in this story, and um, I'm going to have to be a little vague because it kind of, you know, I don't want to say too much about the plot, but we have another character who is this kind of like school counsellor, and, uh, you know, she ends up being having quite a lot of kind of screen time for an in-universe reason, but my God, she... She's like from a different film. Um, her character is played for co comedic relief initially. And she's meant to be this kind of like annoying kind of character that's kind of inserting herself into kind of people's lives. And, and you know, as the movie progresses, it tries to give you a reason why that might be. But, you know, the way she acts is is simply not like an adult would, re would act. It almost feels like she's from like a kid's, like a kid's film. You know how kind of you see like adults acting in like a young kids films like it's kind of like hyperactive like always kind of like chipper um kind of platitudes and things like that she kind of acts like that and you know people just treat her as annoying but it's like this person is going to be like a school counselor or something it just seems she just seems so out of place and then where that historian thread goes and this is to, this is ultimately the conclusion of the movie it really takes a nosedive. Um, uh, you know, I'll give them props for trying to mix it up and kind of have a little bit more of a, uh, a surprise ending, but oh dear, I thought it really kind of fell off a cliff in regards to these, the, the story elements where, that, where this movie kind of ends up, the, kind of the, the, you know, the, the finale, so to speak, is very silly, I have to say. It doesn't really make a lot of sense and it's a little bit cringy. Um, again, I'm not going to go into detail because of spoilers, but I really didn't think this movie stuck landing. It was quite poor. There are also certain uh, elements. They're, they're my main two critiques with the film. There are certain elements of the film that I feel were introduced, but then kind of I didn't really do anything with. We have this kind of like this TV hunter, uh, you know, like the most haunted style kind of guy that kind of turns up and. He doesn't really get that storyline. Doesn't really go anywhere. For example, there's a couple of other things that I, I I thought were introduced that didn't really seem to 
have a lot of impact on the kind of the story. And there are some technical elements. I mean, this is a found footage film at the end of the day, but there are some times where I'm thinking, what camera is this coming from? Because there's, certainly at the beginning when they have less equipment, you know, we, we see sort of shots and thinking, this, where's this, who's filming this? You know, this doesn't really feel like it's like there's anyone there to be filming it. So it's kind of, for the most part, a found footage film. But I think they do cheat sometimes in having these kind of like, Certainly, but even before they get these kind of security cameras kind of, in, in, you know, in, in the house, I guess you can kind of argue then, but even before that, you're seeing these shots and thinking, who's filming this? Because there seems to be shots here, you know, wide angle shots and things like that, that doesn't really kind of make sense in, in context of uh, a found footage. Plus, we have a little bit of kind of like music over the kind of the found footage, which I think it's well kind of... Um, it takes you out of that kind of found footage vibe, so to speak. So, although technically this is a found footage movie, I don't think it, it really leans into it because it doesn't feel like a found footage movie for kind of some time. And then finally, I gotta say, I think some of the acting, let me put it up there, is a little mixed. I don't think it's all terrible, but I don't think the acting is particularly strong from some of the kind of the characters some of the time, so we say. Um, so, Overall, it makes it like, you know, this kind of movie does have some positive ideas and it, I think it does have some interesting things that it introduces, but ultimately I think it falls down. I mean, um, to me, the, the structure of this movie was uh, was interesting, but it, it ultimately didn't really work for me. Uh, I'm going to have to give this movie a, a 4 out of 10. I didn't think it was particularly kind of strong, even though I do think it... It, it did have some ideas that were somewhat kind of unique to it, and uh, you know I enjoyed some of the. I enjoyed the ideas better than the execution. Let's put it like that. I think this movie had it had uh, some more people involved in it may have been a smoother a smoother ride, but some of the stuff I think was it ended up being as good as it could have been. So it's a four out of ten, and I'll be honest with you, I was kind of leaning to a three, but um, I'll, I'll give it a four because I do think. It does have at least some things to kind of like, to be on the positive side. Four out of ten, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.